And if you're in the wrong size bike, it's like walking in the wrong size heels. Eventually, you're going to want to kick those things off and never get in them again. Candace, and I live here in Atlanta. I've been here for 20 some years, and I um, am Shiro for Black Girls Do Bike Atlanta. I just turned 50, which is the new 30 nowadays, from what I understand. And I love all things health and fitness. I went through a weight loss journey of 60 pounds about 10 years ago, and cycling and other forms of fitness just helped me to stay healthy and strong to keep it going. You know, there's this phrase that says, um, in order to keep balance, you have to keep moving. And that is truly what cycling and life is about, right? Sometimes in life we have these ups and downs, but as long as you keep moving, you keep that balance in life, everything will end up okay. One thing about our chapter here at Black Girls Do Bike Atlanta is that it's huge. So some of the friendships that I have uh, formed over the years, I mean, we've been around for seven years. Some of the friendships have just taken me in great directions. And then cycling in general has helped to improve my health. Recently, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. So continuing to have movement in my life that's not harmful to my body is so important. And cycling is part of that. My favorite thing about Black Girls Do Bike, one is the diversity. We have ladies that are just getting into cycling up to ladies that ride 100 miles every day. The beauty of that piece though, is that the ladies that are more experienced are always willing to lean back and help a, and um, give a hand to the ladies that are just starting out. There are newbies that join our group that they're like, well, where do I get a helmet that's big enough to fit over my locks or something like that? And we always have other people that are able to chime in. So the support, the camaraderie, and um, um, as well as just the community in the organization. The two things that I find most rewarding, one um, are the friendships, right, that you build when you are in collaboration and community as you're cycling. The other thing is just the physical benefit. I mean, you can burn calories, you can build muscle, you can build endurance, and all of that just helps you to be stronger, especially as you grow older. But as an organization, we collaborate with other community organizations, bike shops, and then other biking and cycling organizations. Cycling found me after I got out of running. So I had an injury while I was running and I needed to have something to continue to keep me moving because I had been through a weight loss journey and cycling was one of those things that was gonna help me to stay healthy and keep the weight off. So cycling became a love very close to the beginning, very close to the beginning. I teach indoor cycling classes, so to combine that with the movement and the freedom of being outside on the road, it was an immediate love affair. When I first started cycling, I tracked it through an app called Map My Ride. But now that I have this fancy Apple Watch, <laughs> I track most of my fitness because I do other fitness elements as well, everything through my Apple Watch. Two pieces of advice that I always give my new riders. Make sure if you're getting into riding, get fitted for your bike. A lot of my new riders will um, find a good deal on the internet and buy it, but it's the wrong size bike, right? And if you're in the wrong size bike, it's like walking in the wrong size heels. Eventually, you're gonna wanna kick those things off and never get in them again. But the other thing I tell my new riders is enjoy where you are now while you're on the path to going where you're gonna be going. Right, because a lot of times in our group, we have experts that are riding 50, 75 miles in one shot. But my newbies are like, well, I'm, I'm good just to ride five. I'm like, well, enjoy that five. Cause those are, there are people out there that are not even riding five miles. So enjoy where you are now on the path to where you're going. My perfect bike ride, absolutely positively near the ocean. So as I am cycling, there has to be, I have to be able to look to the right and see the ocean and the waves and all of that. Now, that being said, my perfect bike ride also would not have hills. <laughs> it should be flat and near the ocean. Whatever country or beach or whatever island that is, that is my perfect bike ride. The weather is like, you know, 70 degrees. I have my girls there, we are all there. Um, we've been fueled up, we have all our food um, and 
we're going to do probably about 20, 25 miles. That is my perfect ride. <laughs> to me, when people ride unapologetically, no matter what they do, no matter how fast they go, what they have on, if they have music in the background, no matter what, they're just in their zone. They're doing their thing and loving it. That's unapologetically riding in my, in my book. Bounce Fitness is a form of rebound fitness and it's done in rebound boots. So the rebound boots help to protect your joints from impact and they were originally created for runners and athletes who were rehabbing from injuries to allow them to continue to stay moving and, and continue to work out while they were rehabbing. Now, not only does it help protect your joints, but you burn massive calories and it is so super uber fun. So I run um, a fitness club down here called Bounce Fitness Club and that's we offer classes and programs around rebounding. Most of the cycling obstacles I've had to overcome honestly were mental, right? Because our bodies will always take us much further than what we think we can. Our mind is what shuts down. When I was doing my first century, right, 100 miles on the bike, probably around mile 60, I was like, well, you know, 60 is fine, we don't have to do 100, but it was the mental push, right? It's that obstacle of giving, getting over the, the desire to just stop. So that has taught me just to keep moving. Because I'll tell you what, if I had stopped at 60, I would be um, very upset with myself right now. So we did, we pushed, we did 100, um, and that was the obstacle. It's really mostly mental. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>